One of the teens that stabbed a friend to please the fictional character Slender Man is now one step closer to leaving a mental institution. Anissa Wire was in court today for a hearing on a petition for conditional release. CBS 58's Victor Jacobo joins us live in Waukesha to break down the judge's decision. Victor. Anissa Wire has been at the Winnebago Mental Health Institute since late 2017, but a judge ruled today that she can soon leave that facility as part of a conditional release. The court does not find that there is clear and convincing evidence that Anissa Wire poses a significant threat of bodily harm to herself or others or of serious property damage. On that basis, then I'll grant the petition for a conditional release. Anissa Wire smiled on her way out of the courtroom after the judge's decision. In 2017, Wire was ordered to serve 25 years at a mental health institution for the 2014 stabbing of a friend to please a fictional character called Slender Man. Now, at the age of 19, Wire petitioned for conditional release, which was granted after the judge said she satisfied criteria regarding her mental health state, behavior, plan for potential release, and other factors. The state argued Wire should remain at the Winnebago facility for the public safety. We didn't hear from Wire today, but her attorney said while the mental mental health facility would be able to continue to support her. She feels she can make more progress by returning to the community. When she wants to make sure she continues improving and moving forward and gaining more insight and getting to a great place of health. Wire's next court appearance will be on September 10th. That is when the judge will have to approve her plan for the conditional release, which will have the details on her supervision as well as continued treatment. Wire will be at the Winnebago Mental Health Institute until that court date. Reporting live outside the Waukesha County Courthouse, Victor Jacobo, CBS 15 News.